Good evening. Labor has won the state election and Mark McGowan will spend another four years as Premier. That's the extraordinary message from the Liberal or his Liberal opponent tonight. The opposition leader conceding defeat more than two weeks before WA goes to the polls. Zach Kirkup says he's just being honest, but already there's a brutal backlash from some Liberal voters. Hitting the airwaves trying to sell a convoluted message of surrender and survival almost three weeks out from election day. Liberal leader Zach Kirkup didn't quite know what he was trying to tell voters. Have you decided to change your name from Kirkup to Given Up? <laughs> Let me be very clear, uh, this is not raising the white flag. But you can't get any clearer than this statement. What I'm saying is I recognise that Mark McGowan would be the Premier of Western Australia. Winning on March 13 against a potently popular Premier, riding high on the back of pandemic success, was always mission impossible. But the mantra of never admitting defeat has been stripped from the Liberal campaign by its own leader. And on 6PR, Liberal voters let him have it. I'm flabbergasted that, uh, that you know, I've got to follow, follow somebody that's thrown the towel in and uh, I've changed my vote just now. But you lost my vote, mate, when you just declared that you, you're not going to win, Zach. You know, you have my vote, mate. I cannot believe you took on the leadership and then to take us down this path. You have just rolled over and I am so upset. One senior Liberal insider said he felt totally numb hearing the leader concede that it was already over before the election counting had even begun. But Zach Kirkup says he's just being honest. This is all about now making sure we have the strength of character to say to people, we understand that Mark McGowan's job is not at risk, but more than ever we need to fight hard for our democracy. Mr Kirkup says he was channelling Winston Churchill by using sobering language to address the electorate. An interesting comparison, considering that it was Churchill who said... We shall never surrender. Well, the West Australian way is to never give up. Never give up. The truth is Mr Kirkup's campaign appeared to be in trouble early on when he became highly emotional in front of Nine's cameras. You say it's the, the achievement, right? And it is a very big honour to be the leader of the Liberal Party. And then highlighted his own battles with mental health. Because politics, you can crash and crash real quick. Yeah. Zach Kirkup told me after that interview he was only in the leadership under duress and didn't really want the job. I have since been told that party leaders gave him an opportunity to drop out of the election race after his emotional appearance, but he chose not to. I also know that current and former Liberal strategists were consulted before today's we can't win tactic was rolled out. And some of the party's MPs are fuming about it. And they want those people, not just their leader, held accountable after the looming election bloodbath. Now, Michael, the Liberal Party's uh, campaign launch is on Monday. That should be a fun affair. Uh, interesting to see. Gary, thank you.